of Maryland, Mr. Cummings is recognized. Thank you very much. I rise in strong support of H.R. 1, the For the People Act. I want to thank my friend, Congressman John Sarbanes, for his vision and for his tenacity introducing, in introducing this bold and historic reform package. He has given his blood, his sweat, and his tears, and we thank him. Just sweeping legislation would clean up corruption in government, fight secret money in politics, and make it easier for American citizens across our great country to vote. I've heard this bill dismissed as a, quote, power grab, unquote. In fact, it is a power restoration. H.R. 1 would restore power to the American people and break the hold of special interests. For example, Title VIII includes a bill that I introduced, the Executive Branch Ethics Reform Act, which would ban senior officials from accepting bonuses and other payments from private sector employers in exchange for their government service. H.R. 1 would have prevented Gary Cohn, President Trump's former economic advisor, from receiving more than $100 million in accelerated payments from Goldman Sachs when he left to lead the Trump administration's effort to slash corporate taxes. Title VIII also includes another bill that I introduced, the Transition Team Ethics Improvement Act. This legislation would require uh, presidential transition teams to disclose to Congress uh, the team members they submit to receive security clearances and which team members receive security clearances. This legislation also would require transition teams to have ethics plans in place and to publicly disclose those plans. H.R. 1 gives people the power to freely exercise the right to vote. I've said quite often that when my mother died at 92 years old, her last words were not, Elijah, I love you. Her last words, this former sharecropper, her last words were, Elijah, don't let them take away our right to vote. I believe that we should be doing everything in our power to make it easier, not harder, for American citizens to exercise their constitutional right. Unfortunately, some oppose our, exact, our efforts. They think we should make voting more difficult by cutting back on early voting, eliminating polling places, and taking other steps to reduce the number of people who do vote. In some cases, they've even engaged in illegal efforts to suppress the vote and target minority communities. Just look at what happened in North Carolina. In 2013, state legislators requested data broken down by race on how residents engage in a number of voting practices. They then used that data to enact legislation that restrict, restricted voting and voter registration in five different ways that disproportionately affected African Americans. You do not have to take my word. The Fourth Circuit of Appeals found that this legislation was enacted with discriminatory intent. In fact, the Fourth Circuit said that in North Carolina, legislation targeted African Americans with, 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 they said this, I quote, almost surgical precision. We are better than that. In Georgia, we saw actions just last year by officials to remove people from the voter rolls and prevent them from registering in the first place. H.R. 1 would establish procedures to automatically register people to vote, expand early voting, absentee voting, and give additional funding to states to maintain enough polling sites so that they can do their job. <coughs> this legislation would help make it easier for hardworking Americans to find the time to vote by making Election Day a federal holiday and encouraging the private sector to follow suit. A federal court after federal court, federal court after federal court, that, that are going ongoing efforts to stop people from voting. And so I will fight until my death to make sure that every citizen 
whether they be Republican, Democrat, Independent, Green Party, or whatever, has the right to vote. The American people gave this Congress a mandate to restore our democracy, and we will clean it up. And with that, I yield back. The gentleman yield